guys what's going on my name is Lewis and god bless every single one of you today is january 29 2024 and welcome to the grand spring news channel all right guys so we have some urgent information coming out if you can please share this video and it says here belarus now a nuclear power and this is coming out from the bear leader it says here belarus has joined the club of nuclear powers all right guys before i start give this video big thumbs up share this video with your friends family so loved ones i appreciate the love and support and for those of you that want to contribute to the channel once again the paypal link and the patreon link is in the description box also guys one dollar a month patreon we get your access to our live stream every sunday we talk about things that we cannot talk about in the platform also i post the videos today those link will be in the comments box and for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests you can send it to me Luis santiago at 3432 us highway 19 number two holiday florida 34691 all right give me a second here guys there we go all right so we have a new nuke power and you guys already know the bear helped belarus uh the bear leader sent some very very powerful nuke and guess what they have them and this is why the sleeping giants send their stuff uh, towards Europe. And uh, now we are seeing that a lot of this stuff are being uh, uh, sent to other lands. We're talking about N-U-K-E. And I just posted a video not too long ago that uh, there's a possibility. Who knows? Maybe Cuba would get something. All right. So it says here, once again, you have uh, this land has joined the club of NUKE powers, the bear leader said on Monday. So he was referring to uh, MISC successfully operating its first NUKE power station, which was built by, uh, give me a second, uh, was a ton, uh, the bear state atomic energy corporation. All right, so once again, the bear is helping lands. The bear is, uh, look, the bear is also helping North K. So North K also got uh, some very powerful system, and the bear is also helping, I do believe they're helping Persia, because Persia is also giving them some very powerful drones. All right, so this land energy ministry gave the official green light in November to the commercial operation of the station's second power unit with a total power generating capacity of 2,400 megawatts. The plant is expected to cover up to 40% of the nation's energy needs. And once again, this is coming out from the NEWS. This is big breaking news here, guys. And go figure why you have NATO preparing, getting everything ready. They won't say it, but it's because uh, the reason why NATO is getting ready is because of this here. This is a major step forward, the bear leader said. Once again, pay attention. This is coming out from the bear leader. This is a major step forward, the bear leader said on Monday. Commenting on the developments, the bear leader said that constructions of the power plant had given rise to a whole new industry in a neighboring land. In this sense, Belarus has certainly become a NUKE power. Why? Well, let's see. You have two lands. Finney and Sweden uh, became members of NATO. So the bear is like, okay, you guys want to do that? And... I would send NUKE to this land too. So it's like a game of chess here. So they keep moving and, you know, the queen checkmate. Well, the bear comes and say, well, I got uh, two uh, supersonic right in front of you. And so the sleeping giant got to move back uh, so that way uh, they don't get hit. So located not far from the city of, I'm going to skip that name. Northwestern Bella, uh, the power plant was built between 2013 and 2023 by, I'm going to skip that name right there. All right. So it was built in, uh, started 2013, finished in 2023. 
All right, so it is the first NUKE power station outside of the bear to use was a stun, uh, state of the art NUKE reactors of the three plus generation. In 2023, the Bear Capital also stationed some very powerful NUKE in that land, following repeated requests from Minsk. I think that's the capital of Belarus, if I'm not mistaken. Once again, you have the Belarusian uh, leadership uh, cited aggressive uh, sleeping giant NATO policies and the perceived warning possessed by the sleeping giant NUKE weaponry on the soil of some of the sleeping giant allies. There you go. So the bear also signaled its readiness to use any powerful stuff at its disposal to protect Bella should it be struck. So there you go. The sleeping giant making move, the bear is making move. This is like a game of chess. For those of you that know how to play the game of chess, you guys know that the bear is very, very good playing the game of chess. Now, someone said, Louis, you always, always defending the bear. How dare you? Well, you, I mean, you, you expect me to defend Mr. Burns, a man that is not supposed to be in that spotlight? I'm not going to defend this uh, again, Mr. Burns. I'm not going to defend Mr. Burns, a man of abomination. I don't know if people's going to be like, yeah, but it's a sleeping giant. Yeah, but who's running it? Mr. Burns. So, again, uh, and also, look, the bear, if you pay attention to all the stuff that's happening, the bear is not at fault. The bear, again, the bear got to do what they got to do to protect their, their land. The sleeping giant were the first one to drop a whole bunch of sanks on the bear, sanctions on the bear. So again, uh, it's not that I'm uh, standing with the bear. Is that I see who's the good one and who's the bad one. And Mr. Burns, he ain't no angel. <laughs> so uh, he's been in the spotlight for 40 something years. And he's done a lot of uh, not beautiful things. All right. So once again, it says here. Um, you have expert cooperation. Cooperation, excuse me. Uh, between the two neighbors further accelerated amid the ongoing event between the yellow and blue country and the bear capital. The bear leader announced his decision to station NUKE in that land in Bella in March of 2023. A response to certain NATL members' plans to provide the yellow and blue with depleted you know, powerful stuff. A move slammed by the bear capital as uh, reckless and irresponsible. In July 2023, the bear said it could consider withdrawing these powerful stuff from Bella if the sleeping giant and an ATO reversed the current, uh, I'm going to skip that name, course and remove sleeping giant and UKE from Europe. And dismantle its infrastructure. Does it sound like a good idea? Well, again, guys. Uh, what if the bear brings their stuff to Cuba? Would that be good for the sleeping giants? Will you sleep good at night? Well, what do you think the bear out there? You think they're sleeping good at night? Knowing that the sleeping giant NATO is causing piñata party in the yellow and blue? Maybe, just maybe, uh, we should uh, allow the bear to bring their stuff to Cuba and bring the ships in front of uh, Florida coast and California coast and New York coast. Hey, it, you know, Sleeping Giants doing the same thing in front of the Red Dragon. Maybe they should do the same thing to us. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream every Sunday. 
we talk about things that we cannot talk about in the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those link will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.